Hello everyone, I'm Rajah Sai and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can run your Angular web application in a Docker container. I will show you complete steps by creating your Docker file and then building your image based on that Docker file. Later on, I will also show you how you can run your container based on that image. I will also show you how you can uh, publish your local uh, image from local repository to a remote repository in a Docker hub. So without any further delay, let's start. So guys, I will start this exercise by creating my first uh, Angular application. For that, I will open the terminal and I will say ng new. It will ask the name. I will name it Angular UI routing for for the moment i just no need routing it's just for the learning purposes i will add css and press enter it will take some time and after that it will uh, install uh, the npm packages i will come back later when it is installed so my angular application is up uh, with just a single command you can see my angular application is up uh, now what i do is that i will uh, install the new packages by npm install it will take some time it is installing and uh, after that, I will run this application to show you how it looks uh, in the, my local computer. And later on, I will show you the similar result by running this application in a Docker container. It has installed the new uh, node modules. You can see uh, all the modules needed for this. I will run this application to see how it looks by npm start. Uh, yes. So it is running on this local host. I will go to local host 4200 and you see my application, sample application is running and everything is working right now. My, uh, I can change the name of my application just for the reference purposes. I will uh, go to app and my HTML. I will say that Docker is running and what my title will be i will make it as it is i will save it and you see angular ui docker is running i just changed my uh, this thing just to show you how it works so i will close it for the moment i will clear this out and now our major step will start uh, we will create a new file we open this and uh, so we will create a new file we'll name it a docker file you see uh, the logo comes automatically uh, with no extension you have to write the docker file and i will paste the code from the notepad just to save some time but i will explain each and every piece of the code uh, so uh, this is my docker file uh, it is divided in two different stages i will uh, explain you in a bit the first line, what first line will do is it will run first. It will pull the base image from uh, like Docker Hub, which is node latest. Latest means just a version and it is saved as a node. Later on, I will show how it is used here. And uh, our working directory, which is the next step as uh, the folder name app. Uh, it is just a root location, copy from root location to just a root location. I'm not going to change that. I'm going to run this command npm install just to see if it's working and then I will build uh, this image how it is built. It is built by npm run build that's just production. It What it will do is for example if I run it here npm run build you see uh, it will publish the artifact in a folder uh, here. You can see that uh, the new folder is created this is uh, this folder and in this folder these are the artifact and this is my, the executable file index.html so uh, I have to in the next step next step 2 is that it will pull another uh, image which is engine x and the version will be alpine it will host this application on this image and copy from where from node as you remember we have copied it here from here the working directory where is my working directory this when we run that uh, particular piece of code 
it uh, published all the artifact in this location right now my application name is angular ui i will name it angular ui and it will uh, copy from this location to this location this is just a default location of uh, this uh, engine x so i will save it and then from this docker file i will create the first image from uh, a single piece of code i will say docker build dash t uh, image name uh, image ui and uh, then uh, i will name the docker file it will read this file space and period just remember that don't forget this space this is not by default uh, by accident uh, it is how it should be i will press enter and uh, what is saying invalid argument sorry tag name must be lowercase oh sorry i have my bad it should be lowercase my image ui i press enter and you see it has started pulling the image from this location this is the my first step step one it is pulling it will take some time bear it with me my internet is a bit slow so it will take some time it has pulled the image you see uh it has pulled the image the step second step is uh, creating the working directory which is that copying from root to root uh running this command and uh, right now it is running this command and it will create uh, uh paste all the artifact in the folder and after that, our second step will be initiated. You see, uh, our second step was initiated and uh, it has run the command. Now what I will do is I will write Docker images. And if I see, there is my image UI, which was created 13 seconds ago. I have other images, just forget about that i have created this image i can also see where in my docker hub uh, docker desktop account i see if i go uh, where it is, it is here less than a minute ago it was created here right now i have no container running uh, our next step will be to creating our uh, container based on that image for that i will say docker run if i simply uh, write my image name which was uh, my image ui sorry for that i my image ui it will run the docker container on the uh, local sorry on uh, the default port which is port 80 and it will give some random name to our container which i don't want so i will make uh, i will run in interactive mode in the detached mode i will map the port 8001 to 80 and then uh, what I will do is that I will uh, give name to my container which is my UI container space. So it, what it will do is it will run this command. It will port the map 80 on 8001. I, will, I can get any port name. Uh, my container name will be this and my image which will this container will be using is this i will press enter and you see if i run docker ps which will and i can see this command container is running container id is this which uh, image is this this command is running in the container i can also see it here you see uh, running the image uh, image name is this container name is my ui container if i go into container you can see it is in use right now how i also can see it i just simply open in the browser and you see on the local host 8001 my application is running doc angular ui docker is running uh, it was as simple as that it was just some basic steps uh, if you still have some questions regarding that you can just comment down below uh, my next step will be pushing this image into docker hub so anyone any at any place can test this application uh, or run this application web application which you have created for that i have to uh, log into my docker hub account uh, to log in i have to write this 
remember that you should have uh, a docker hub account for that i have a docker hub account with this name rajas tahir i press enter it will ask my password i will enter my password login is successful i am uh, logged into my uh, docker hub account now i will push this image but before that this is the important thing i have to tag the local image uh, to my username this is important for that i will simply say docker tag my image name which is my uh, what i have name i've just forgot that my image ui to rajas tahir my image ui i have tagged it you see now i can simply push this tagged image into my docker hub account i press enter it is just starting pushing i will log into my docker hub account to show you uh sorry docker hub it's there <sighs> You see, uh, there are other images, but not that image. My image U UI, that is because it is just pu pushing right now. It will take some time. It is pushed. Now I will refresh my account, and you see my image UI is running here in the computer. Uh, now uh, the last step, I, what I will do is just to show how uh, it can work properly. I will delete my container. I will also delete this particular image, my image UI, remove it, uh, just like to make sure uh, it, ha it is not running uh, locally in my computer. So it is local and it is remo remote. So if I see a Docker images, you see there are other images, but not that particular image. I will clear this out and I will run this command again docker run this 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 and right now i will say rajas tahir slash this i will name my container one and i will press enter you see the application will run again it is cached and it is pulled in just a few seconds it is just lightweight my container is running again and if i run this application it is running. It just pulled from this Docker Hub in just few seconds and it is running on my local computer. So anyone, uh, if it's still on my public uh, profile in the Docker Hub, you can paste this particular piece of code in your computer anywhere at any place and uh, you can easily run Angular web application on your computer in a Docker container. I hope you have liked this video. Uh, this was my first ever attempt to create any uh, video regarding DevOps. I will try my best to make uh, lesser mistakes in the future. And uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel.